All right, so in this part of the course, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to go about doing a lot of different dumbbell variations, because I know a lot of my clients basically just have dumbbells in their home apartment gyms, um, and then a lot of beginners. I mean, re re regardless of where you are, this is gonna be very valuable for you, so we're gonna go through um, some upper body, some lower body, just kind of full body, um, dumbbell usage with a bench press, without a bench press. So make sure that you stick through, watch all this course, get all this knowledge. Uh, make sure that you save and bookmark this web page, uh, and make sure that you save the playlist. All right, take notes. Let's get it, baby. All right. So first, we're gonna start off with the chest press, right? The chest dumbbell bench press, right? So if you're a beginner, you're gonna start off really light. You just want to get used to the motion. Of course, you definitely want to master your body weight foundations first with push-ups pipe push-ups and so forth. If you can't do more than 15, 20 push-ups straight for three sets, start there, baby. You know, push-ups are foundation, are staple, um, but to start getting into this dumbbell bench, I'm gonna start with some 15s. So when you're setting up into the bench, you wanna make sure that your butt is at the end, right? When you sit down into the bench, you don't want your back to be flat. You wanna actually make sure that your scapula is retracted and your chest is poking out, all right? So again, you don't wanna be flat here on the bench. Make sure that you keep the dumbbells here at a vertical hold, right? You're gonna squeeze your scapula back. You're gonna kick one leg up. You're gonna pretty much rest it right here. Kick the next leg up, you're gonna rest right here. Bring your elbows out, press, all right? Start off nice, slow, and controlled, just to get the movement down, get used to the dumbbells at first. It's gonna feel a little bit weird if you're new to this. So just practice controlling the movement, all right? When you're doing this, you wanna be conscious of your elbows. You don't wanna flare your elbows so that it's coming at a 90 degree angle. Think about bringing your elbows slightly down to your side, right? Not all the way down to your side, but slightly down to your side instead of flared back. All right, I'm gonna switch up the angles. And from the back angle, you're gonna be sitting here, right? We're gonna sit back. You're gonna kick, kick. Make sure that back is retracted. You're gonna push up. Your scapula is squeezed back, right? And from here, you do not wanna flare your elbows so that it comes out at a 90 degree angle because this is putting too much pressure onto your shoulder joint, right? So instead of being out here with it, right, with your elbow back here, you want your elbow to be right here, right, with a slight tuck, right, slight tuck. So if you're on a barbell bench press, the analogy that is often used in the fitness community is bending the bar. You wanna think about bending the bar so that you're coming down here and pressing rather than coming down here, chicken wing, right, not a chicken. All right, so you're gonna come here, grab the weight, boom. You're gonna come down, up. You're gonna go, first set is always about 20 reps, so it's gonna be very light. And then each set after that, you're gonna increase the weight. So if you do 20 with the 15, next I would go up to about, depending on where you are in your journey, 20 to 25 pounds. You're gonna aim for 10 to 15, and then you're gonna continue to increase the weight between three to Three to seven sets, right? If you're a beginner, three sets, you're probably gonna start feeling fatigued. Once you're you know, more advanced, you're gonna increase the load, right? That's progressive overload, making sure that you're progressing every single week, every single month. You shouldn't still be doing three sets at month two, right? If you are, you're using a completely different weight, right? You're using heavier weight, you're doing more reps, and so forth. But first set is always a warm-up set. Doesn't even really count as a set. Um, Cause it's just your warm-up set. Every single workout, you always start with a warm-up set. All right, um, and then you're gonna, like I said, you're gonna increase the weight and then drop the rep range. So as you increase this weight, so say you go 15, 25, 35, 45, 60. Right? That's an example of something like I would do. Right? I would gradually go up like that until I reach about 65 pounds. Well, I'm capping. I'll probably go up to like 90. Stop playing with me. But about 60, like a, a rep range where between six and eight is hard, right? That's on your volume days. You wanna go from six to 10. If you wanna test your strength, if you're feeling strong, it's okay to do reps for two to three. So if you do a heavy weight, you're like, man, I'm feeling strong today, I'm gonna to push myself. Feel free to go up once you develop that foundation, right? If you wanna go up to like, you know, 50, 60, 80, 90, depending on where you are, and do two, three, four reps, right? For two sets, test out your strength and get you stronger. After that, you're gonna drop set and you're gonna burn out with more value, right? So say you do your top set, 
You're at 45, right? You're doing 45, so like, boom. I just ate that for 10. All right, bet, I'm gonna go up to 60, right? You're gonna try that for like five, or maybe five is too heavy, so you do like three, right? You do three. After that, you're gonna drop back down to like 30 pounds, and you're gonna rep out. You're gonna get that value in, all right? I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps. I'm gonna go through this one more time just to make sure that you understand it. Um, so boom, you're at the end of the bench here. There's another way you can do it where you lay down and kick back at the same time. Boom, right? That's, that's another way to do it. So you can lay back and then kick, right? Or you can have it on your elbows and then kick back at the same time. Have it here, press, right? Down. Right, not flaring out back here, right? Too much pressure on your joints. You wanna keep it here. Okay? That was a flat dumbbell bench, right? That's flat dumbbell bench that's gonna hit the middle of your chest, right? As we move into incline, we're starting to press more vertically, but we're still sitting back. That's gonna hit the top of your chest, right? Very similar to doing a decline, uh, decline push up like this, right? So that would be equivalent if 